So basically, folks, what's happened here is me and Tank have come to do the next vlog. We brought Brenda to um, do some filming and we've not caught anything so far. Just having my lunch. Brenda sits down and he's caught as a carp. Oh, yeah. And Tank couldn't catch anything there, so he's moved further down to even catch one. It looks like you, Brenda, are going to be star of the vlog. I'm the star of the show. What you got there, nice little mirror? Lovely bottom lipper. Nice, look at that, perfect. Pretty little fish, isn't he? Yep, now get off the box, it's my turn. <laughs> Been a bit of chicken, mate. I love a bit of chicken. So Tank, talk us through the features on the new Reeve Guru special edition seat box that you sat on. Really comfy seat. Yeah. The key feature is, you need to get rid of low to the ground so you can see the float perfect. Yeah, you're in, in your condition. Very nice and low to the ground there, aren't you? Good swinging technique. Yeah. Don't have too much pull behind you. And how's your move gone since you moved down here after blanking up there? Had a bite. You've had a bite? Yeah. Yeah. Mystic, so looking at you. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh dear. Brenda's, no. Brenda's caught as one. They're all in the wind, you know. I don't know, Brenda's caught one up there in that calm bit. I think this is a god. Oh my god, carp. <laughs> think they're down here, do you? I down here. A matter of time before I get one. <laughs> I'm going to leave you to it. <laughs> Enjoy your uh, seat box. I can't really feed though, that's a problem. I can't wait, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> really Look at that. Accurate. Hard work, you know. Not had one on you since you've moved, have you? Think we should come down here. There's I a do. lot. There's a lot topping down here in the wind. It's just very cold. Oh, have you got one? I've got one. Where you got Woo! one? So that's it. We're gonna have to move down here, aren't we? Yes. Right. I'll go get your landing net. Thanks, mate. Oh, we feel the big How did that go for your tank, that carp? Mate, my leg's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda's come with a landing net for you. Brenda, I'll let it go. I thought I heard you scream. I'll let it, I'll let it go. I knew we, you weren't going to be here in time. Oh. Let's go. You lost get, it, didn't you? Let's get this stuff. Are you moving down here? Come on, Brenda, let's go. Moving out there. Well, we've made the move down the lake. We started up there, where it's really flat calm. Struggle for bites. Brenda, aka Conor McGregor, was the only person to catch one. Me and Matt failed. So, little tip for anyone coming on commercials, like we are at Woodlands Lakes today, make sure you go in the wind, because that's where the car like to be. Hopefully. Seems Tank's move has proved lucrative for him. This chuck has got one, haven't I, lad? Do it out. Is it a big one? Oh, caught him on a cookie. Are you not allowed to use cookies here, they're bad. Oh, he's a nice catch. He's got a big mirror. Yeah. Oh. Large mirror. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, well done, lad. Look at that. It just shows what a little boat can do. Yeah. Just an acid, isn't it? We just weren't at the right end of the lake. We're up there. Oh, look at that. Up in calm corner. Eight, nine pound of saginess. You two pound for him, mate. Yeah, solid two. Well done, bud. Thank you very much. Tell you what, I'm getting better record than that. Cracker, do you want a picture of him? Yeah, why not? Hold him up then, lad. The move has definitely been successful. I don't think we're in that right spot, lads, do you? We're in the right spot, but we've learnt. We've learnt. You go in the wind, it's where the fish are. The wind stopper wizard. I think this is a sign winter's coming now. Well, you got your wind stopper on? No, not that. Just the fact that the fish are falling up a little bit. Yeah, a little bit more, yeah. They're definitely down here, they weren't up there, were they? They just weren't. Shuffling along the bank. Hey, up he's a big one. Yeah, he's not far up. Oh, yeah, nice one, it is. Tell you what, you look like you're in the middle of winter, kid. Mate, I'm so cold. Back to winter. Hey, you got the wind stopper on now, though, haven't you? That, that stops the wind. I have. There he is. 
what lake's this one? Park Skylark. 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 Uh, Skylark. Mirror. Fishy. Yeah, fishy. Yeah, that's all, mate. Good one, isn't it? Got a little mini winter feeder on as well. Let's have a little look at it. Plate and grammar. Show you. Look, these lakes are quite silty. Yeah, I'll tell you what, just let you know, I'm very close to the edge. <laughs> living on, mate, if you're, not edge. Living, if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much room. We're doing a bit of sliding now, brother. I'm feeling it now. I weren't feeling it earlier. No. I'm feeling it now. We're going to have a little update, aren't we, on what everything we've been doing fishing wise? Yeah, we've well. been busy as hell, haven't we, to be fair. Yeah, that's why we haven't brought you a vlog for the past few weeks. We've been very, very busy. Hopefully now winter's nearly here, we can uh, do a bit more regular again, can't we? Hey, I'll tell you what we need to do is get on with uh, Rooney and Macy and try and catch a barber. Yeah, we need to go and get that one sorted. Mm. Some big one's coming out at the minute. Is there? Yeah. Next few weeks we'll go there. Alright. All right, I'm going to watch him cast out with one. Are you ready? Go on then. Put like a little gnome here, you're a duck. I have a little gnome here. Oh, oh, great. Oh, he had one, yeah! <laughs> Ah, no. <laughs> At least he's not on camera. <laughs> hey, it's a good job you're fish with a world float team, hey? Oh, that's that's a, hey, that's a game over job. There's a car on there as well. Oh. <laughs> I can see Genesis inside, it's like, cut! Cut! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he's feeding a lot. Cut! I shall not be cutting. <laughs> this will be going in. Enjoy your day. <laughs> oh, I hate <laughs> oh. I think we need a bigger boat for this one. <sighs> Number two for Matthew. Shark. Got the woodland shark. No, it's bigger than this. Yeah? Yeah. Trying to hide the wind. Ah. Look at the sun on you. Oh man. The light always shines on the righteous. The sun always shines on the righteous. Oh, is that what they say? Yeah. <laughs> but I'll let you off. Books are bigger than that. These are bigger. That's what they all said I'm um, about. <laughs> You're about? Yeah. Sit this scent down. Look at that, bit of autumn sun. Look at that rod bending tank. I know, look at it. Ooh. You're bigger? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Ventus Reel Engage Rod looking very good. That is an absolute unit, kid. That's a big fish. That's bigger, isn't it? You like bigger? I mean, I have always liked a bigger. Size of him. I like big carp as well. Now what, Pappy? Oh, look at him. Look at lad, him, innit? Yeah. Key unit. Oh. Ready? Sun's out. Ginger's in. <laughs> Is that alright for ya? <laughs> look at him, he's massive. Oh. <laughs> look at him. Great unit, him, innit? He's massive. What's he? He's definitely... 40 pound, mate. 40 pounder. Minimum. Look at the size of that. Great lump, innit? <laughs> Right, love. <laughs> oh. oh, I dropped him then. You say tank looks like uh, while you're having your lunch, old Brenda's in again. Brenda's got the magic touch. Must be that feminine hormone. <laughs> feminine hormone. Yeah, I say that women have like different hormones, don't they? <laughs> Go on, Brenda. What are you doing, Brenda? Pull it back. What's the top kids going for? Don't break that pole. He's got one in his bag again. And it's windy. Can you hear me? No, can't hear you. You can hear the wind. Oh, a carp on the cookie. He says he's got a carp on the cookie, folks. 
got clutch shit. To be honest, I think we can't just caught shit. Right, a big unit. Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got your new landing net pole there. New landing net pole. How stiff that is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a big one. He is a big one, isn't he? 100 pounder. Happy with that, bless him, isn't he? Happy with that. Go on then, slip her back, brother. I want to have a little look at this shallow ring you keep harping on about. Oh, lovely fish, that. Very nice fish. We're on. Be seeing you, fish. That's what we're we on now. Is that two fish I've had? Brandon's had a couple as well. Brandon's had a couple. We've had a couple each, haven't we? We've had a nice morning's fishing, haven't we? Right, this is the setup. This is the shallow slapper. Shallow slapper. Right, what we got? This is starting with a hook. Yeah. It's a 16 Super MWG. Yeah. Barbed. No, it's not I'm barbed. I'm only it's barbless. It's barbless. I'm going to fish a little six mil pellet. Got a little micro bait band on there. Yeah. Pop a six mil pellet on what I'm feeding. You've got long up length yeah, there, haven't it's you? It's actually 15 inches. Right, why in why is such a long up length? I like the slow fall of the pellet. So when that pellet's falling through, there's not got any shot to drag it down. And I think when the carp suck it in, they haven't got any resistance. Ah. That's when you get that it's on. Like it. So I like it. Like if it. I'm going to fish any shallower, some days you might want to fish shallower, like 8 inches, 6 inches. I'll just cut it down. But I like to start at 15, rock and roll from there. Nice, so, nice. On to the float. It's a point to cookie. cookie. That, is a, that is a white chocolate chip cookie. Nice, nice. New little uh, cookie floats joining the MW Guru range. Two little number 10. Oh, number nine's there, micro cubes there. Just sitting right below it. And why, you're, loop why the loop. shot underneath it there like that? Just, that's where you have to have shot on your line. I don't want to put it on milk club, so it's going right next to that loop. Don't tangle or anything. No, don't tangle. That wire stem really keeps the float nice and stable because it's windy today. I should redden this. If I take my hand away, look. As you can hear, here. it's very, very windy. So you yeah. want that stability there. That nice little dibber float. You can see it all, the, all day long. Just underneath the float, I think it sits nice and perfectly. Perfect. Every right, time, dunk. As it goes. It goes like this. Dunk. 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 And then, Slam dunk. What about this length of line and up to the elastic? I'd say around three foot of line between your float and elastic. Yeah. That's about right. I don't think you want any longer because you start missing a few bites. It's three foot. Stick with that. You will not go far wrong, people. Nice. What about elastic? What's elastic, that one? that's a 13 hollow little speed bead there. The, the small, I think it's a medium one. It's actually yours. It's actually a, it's a pole elastic connector. Pole actually. elastic connector. That's the one. Yeah. Little Is bead, it? nice and direct. Lovely, mate. Go and catch Lovely. me another carp, mate, on your little cookie. Can I catch you one? Yeah, go and get me another one on cookie. I'm going to get a bigger. All right, brother. Okay. Really nice, that. Yeah. Okay, innit? What do you think to your talking then on that bit of filming? I think it's fantastic. Actually. Yeah, you're happy with that bit of talking. <laughs> Matthew, <laughs> listen, when the tank talks, everyone. Listens. I think that was a great bit of filming, mate. Oh, yeah. I think you're awesome. <laughs> I it's love that it. good. I'm still filming now. I love filming, mate. I love filming I love you. I love vlogs, filming you. I love filming you. I think we should film you and your girlfriend together. Listen, that'd be a pleasure. It'd be a good film, that, wouldn't it? I could get a lot, a lot of money for that. Feels like another good one, the tank. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Is he pulling? He's pulling me more than I'm pulling him. See me, rod bender. I want a nice little tip from you once you've landed him. I've got a few for you. Yeah? No, eight yards. No. Original. Yeah. Oh, whoa. He's pulling. Why do you have your back quine on and not your clutch? Like it. Yeah, I do that as well. A little bit more control. Look at that. Look at the action. I can't see because uh, it's sun in my eyes. I've got your sunglasses on. Yeah, you have. Do you want them on? No, you're alright, mate. I'm, just, I'm blind now, anyway. So. Been windy day, hasn't it? Yeah, very hot day, really. I can tell it's getting cold now, can't we? Yeah, it's not been solid. Nice. Still good, you yeah. Big car, haven't we? Really? We've had like what six each and that. Seven big ones each. I'm gonna do a little update with everyone as well. We're gonna go into this place as a yeah, sports bar, you know. Sports bra. The sports bra. Oh, I like a sports. It's bar. called Harvey Sports Bar. Yeah. Yeah, they do some amazing 
Burger, not dog, I've heard, so Brenda's going to treat us. Really? Yeah. Go on, the Brenda. Is it a big end? Yeah, he's a good end. Look at that. Ooh, yeah, nice. He is big. Right, you got a tiny little look on, you catching fish like that. It's good, isn't it? You don't normally get them out 24, but this one's on really bad. <laughs> Oh yeah, nice one. Whee! Not so common, common. Not so common, common. Okay, nice uh, fish. Fish on bait, eh? Good fish. Good fishing, Pat. Lovely, lovely oh, carps. Lovely cracker, isn't it? Lovely carps. See why they catch some big weight. Oh, they're right? massive fish, aren't they? Yeah. I brought my mates fishing here. And, you? Yeah, they loved it fishing down the edge, catching fish up to like 20 pound. Massive. Amazing. Brenda's over there trying to get me a fish on the old pole. Go on, Brenda. Oh, you've got the long common, mate. Like a long thin as well. It's not that thin, is it? But... Look at that. Nice one, is it? Lovely fishy. We're going to get a little picture with you. Go on, then. We're going to get us tips. Alright, not a problem. Alright, smile at me. Look at that, I can do both. Just done both. Right, how good is that? Put it back. Yeah, put him back and then I want a couple of little tips from you, mate. What about? Feeder fishing on commercials well, this time of year. I want, I want one, two tips from you, quick fire ones. Cooling cause... down a bit. Main thing today that I know is this, you can't catch a fish from the same spot. Okay. So like, well, you might nick two. Mm. But then. I noticed today there were a ball of them moving in front of you and I've gone in, caught a couple dead quick and next you'll notice one will pop his head out three or four metres to like the right moved a bit. and I think because they're balling up to going into winter, shoaling up a little bit, getting a bit closer they move about together so once you've picked a couple mm -hmm. you don't get a bite in that spot think where would they have moved to? Left a bit, right a bit, a little bit past Experiment even, even a little bit towards you normally you'll get a few liners if they've come towards you so Biggest tip going into winter, don't be scared to move about. Don't just chuck your feeder down one hole all day. I like it. Second tip, scale down, in particular the size of your feeder. A little tiny 18 grammer there, because it's silty here. That lays on top of silt. And you'd be surprised how many micros you can still get on that for a little yeah. feeder. But it's not that big old 28 gram large I would be using a in month or two ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so scale it down. What about your up length and hook? Can you scale that down? Um, you can't go too light for these kind of fish. No, right? they're big so they're light, very light. He said one of fish is 015 engage. That's 017 engage yeah. and a 16. Um, but I don't think you go too light when you catch a fish up to the little figures, can you? No, really? no, you can't. They'd be my quality. I like it, mate. I'm gonna, give you, I'm gonna give you a couple on the old pole shallow. Nice. Brenda's slapping away. So. Watch me catch one. And we're going to have a natter in the sports bra. The sports bra and have a hot dog. Oh, so. I like a dog hot. So, it's lovely. I'd love a dog hot now. How's the wind for your shallow fishing tank? Fantastic. Not nice big conditions. Not stopping you catching them though, lad, is it? No, no. It's got a bit shallower, Jin, as you said. You found a bit shallower? Yeah. And I went shallower. There you go, you need to listen to me more, don't you? Oh, you've, you've, you've had me rob rollers with And now I'm ready to go, me, mate. We're getting a dog hot. Hot dog, I want a hot dog. Hey, he's a nice head. Is he good, Ed? Oh, Let's have a look at him as he comes in. Big one to end the day. Big one. Is he big? Isn't that? Oh, he's a good one, yeah. Hey, we've got black swan here. Got black swan here. Bit of a story to that swan, I think, isn't there? Yeah, there is something about Neil Grantham, I think. I think so. I think it used to belong to Neil Grantham. Bones, Lindome Lane. It might not be that one, though. We might be making assumptions. Who oh, knows? Never know. Here he is. Nice mirror. Got the mirror. Uh, they haven't been easy to capture us today, on right, mate. It's very cold and oh. it's getting towards winter, isn't it? He's a nice fish. He is a cracker. Lovely fish. Come here, Babby. Calm down. Perfectly functioning. Oh, yeah. Perfect presentation. He's a beauty to end on, mate. Go on, slip him back. I want a few. Uh, you're happy with him, aren't you? Look, I can tell. 
You worked hard for him. Hey. You sat there slapping that rig, hadn't you? Look at the wind, right? <laughs> Good job on the tank, eh? No wonder you've got big arms shallow fishing in this. Come on, I want right. a few little tips from you then. Nah. A few little tips. Shallow fishing, getting into autumn, cooling down a little bit. How do people keep catching shallow? The main thing that I think when you approaching shallow fishing at this time of year is don't go too heavy when it comes to feeding. Yeah. I think the fish have had, a, have had the fill now, you know, when that summer months, they're absolutely ravenous, they eat everything. But when it comes to this time of year, when it starts to be cooler at night, just start slapping a little bit more rather than lashing baiting everywhere. So don't feed too much. Yeah. Do a little bit more slapping, they'll focus their attention, on your hook bait because that's all they can eat when you're slapping you're mimicking that noise of pellets so going they'll in they'll hear it come in and yours is the only one there they'll hear it and if there's loads of bait around the floor they might just back off because they've, they've had that sort of summer months of eating loads of bait my second tip is vary the amount of times you slap so what i mean by that is i've caught a lot today by just slapping once the wind is really bad now so i apologize if you can't hear me. you got this Get your duck. Clap. Yeah. Right. Just vary the amount of times you slap. So I've caught a lot of fish today, just like I said, on one slap. So I've literally turned the rig over once and it's made two flops. One, two, one of your floor and the little shot underneath it, and then one of your pellet. That's just a better way, in my opinion, of approaching the autumn time because you don't want to be slapping all the time, all the time. Yeah. Because the fish aren't going to be looking for tons and tons of bait. They're going to be inquisitive, so they'll come into that noise, and the only thing they can eat is your hook bait. But vary it up. Sometimes slapping two or three times works really well. So there's no rule at all. You just have to see what you feel on the right given day. But try, I'd say three is a great number to start on. And if you're not catching, go to one. Oh, one just jumped out then. A couple of tips. And another thing, you know, it's very similar to your feeder approach. When you see, when you catch one in a certain area, you're not likely to catch another one in that area. Or if once you've had two bites in that certain area, move. That's exactly what I've done today. I've caught a couple to my left. Then if I don't get a bite there after a sort of 10 minutes slapping away in this wind, it's hard, trust me. So if you don't get a bite in that sort of area where you've had a couple, go a little bit right, literally about Meter, meter, meter and a half, yeah, yeah. Meters past. Don't be afraid of going past where you've been catching as well. Keep something in back in your armory. So what I mean by that is 14 and a half meters, if that's where you're slapping away, have a 16 meter section there just to go past. Bit there. of fresh water. Yeah, a bit is of the fresh key. water, that's key. So have, don't go to your maximum straight away. Don't go to 16 meters, slap away, catch what you can because more often than not they won't come into you when you're shallow fishing will always back away so start at say 13 14 meters catch what you can and then go a little bit further pick a few. you know if we go a little bit further around that corner there yeah i know that's I where know. hot dogs are hot dogs and burgers should we go a bit further around there let's go around there <laughs> let's have a catch up thanks for that hey i want to learn a few little bits from you about world champs and stuff I'm right. forward we've got to... well we've got world champs river fest and feeder masters haven't we tons of stuff to talk about all right we'll have a little catch up As easy to fly as you think them. Check me back to my RAF days. They're gone. Hot dog time. Dog hearts. Sports bar. Have a look at it. Pool table. Look at that. Mega. There's a few beers drank in here. Mm. I don't know. I bet there is an all. Sound check. Checking sound. Sound check. We are checking the sound. Brandon. The sound. Brandon just hit me in the head. Talk. Hello. 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 Oh, good Can you hear us? Can you hear us? We're going to talk about stuff. So we haven't done a vlog for a while, folks. We can only apologise for it, but we've all been very busy. But now we're going into winter. Hopefully, it'll be a bit more regular. A lot of time has been spent for you fishing. Yeah, I've been to the World Champs in Italy. World Championships. Yeah, that was good. Very good. Mm. Well, hang on, is that the right timeline? Yeah. Did you go River Fest first then? No. Went to World Champs, oh, World then Champs. River Fest, right. then Feeder Masters, all right. in three weeks. So, little brief run through. 
about what we've been going on because I think well, it's the biggest time of the year for you, isn't it, really? That world champ. Mate, loved it. Yeah, we, went, we, we actually, I'm not going to tell too much. I'm just going to direct you to the podcast we did on it. Yes. Um, I haven't, you know, I'm going to truthfully honest, I haven't watched it have yet. Have you not? No, I haven't watched it yet. You'll have, to, um, you'll have to get on it and watch it. But basically, we recorded some stuff when we were going out there, me and Toby. I saw the first trailer bit. He sent me to look yeah. at it. Really, yeah. good, really good idea. We're good, mate. We're good. We, we, we won a bronze medal with team, which were amazingly mm. good and a real rewarding end to the week because it was so difficult like the fishing were rock hard we're on a big river called the Mincio runs out of the bottom of Lake Garda that blue we're really weird coloured river yeah it's like the tap water weren't it? Yeah. really really clear catching these fish called the Scardler that we don't Scardler, Scardler. Or big chub there were some massive car hooked yeah um, but it were an amazing week and you, you two will have to watch the podcast have you watched the podcast? I've watched the whole thing really, really like good. it really really the best one I think is the best one oh good thanks Thank for anyone watching this that doesn't know who this lad is, this is Brandon George, aka Brenda, <laughs> aka Brenda. Started with Guru not long ago. Absolute <laughs> godsend, legend. We're gonna get rid of him too. Yeah, shame it only lasts for three months, mate. Oh, um, he is a godsend. He is. He is a good. He is a godsend. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that were it, mate. So yeah. have a little look at it. It's on the Tackle Guru TV YouTube. Well, I'm gonna watch that as well because I feel like I uh, need to support you. And the brand can watch it yet, so I'm gonna watch that and watch it. Listen to it on the way home. Yeah, not a bad shout, that. That's it. Fruit, fruit, jelly box, something. Yeah, man. perfect, perfect. Then, then we went to Riverfest final. Yeah, I didn't go to the first final. That was very, very good. Learnt loads. Hey, I want to do some more of them Riverfest. Well, I ain't done any of them. Never so good, good. honestly. It's on the River Trent, Burton Joyce. Looks brilliant. And there's fish all the way through, and there's so many different kinds and species and methods. Like ninety-two pound of bream on the first day, someone had sixty-seven pound of chub and barbel. It's all in bad. Couple, couple of thirty pound weights of chum. Um twenty pound plus a roach, twenty pound plus a date. We've actually been there testing, haven't we? Is that the same bit? Yes, we're you right. caught them bream on a flat float, didn't yeah. you? Beautiful, yeah. beautiful stretch of river, that. Oh, mate, it was I'm amazing. I'm going to spend more time on the trend. I told you this, didn't I? You should come on I'm going to spend oh. more time on the trend this year. You should. It's well, my favourite venue. It does look amazing. By far. How did you do? Come on. I had two really good days. I had £15 on the first day and £17 on the second day. All, I only really drew pegs where... Oh, did you get 17 I thought I didn't think you had a good day on that. Yeah, 17 12 or something. Oh, nice. yeah. um, all roach and dace on a pole few on a feeder um, I won my section both days and he ended up 18 overall which I went oh, nice. where I drew I'm really happy with that and you get a few beer tokens for winning your section and that's all you can do really what, so how many did they pay out on that 15 15 you want far now no that's a nightmare who were the lad that won it because I can't remember John Locke John Locke yeah. Yeah. yeah he had a massive weight had 100 I think it's the biggest weight that's ever won Riverfest he did amazing first day had 92 pound of bring nice Wow, that's phenomenal. That's a, like, you should come on some qualifiers next mm, year. I'm going to try it. There's loads of local ones that I like the call, so yeah, it does sound really good. All on a feed, did he catch you? Yeah, all on a whip. All on a whip. Three meter whip, three three meter two whip. pound of bream. Yeah. Yeah. And then we went to Tamar Reservoir this weekend just gone, didn't we? Literally just gone like three days ago. What do you reckon? Best venue in England. It's amazing. It's massive, isn't it? Oh, it's big. Best Tamar's venue in big England. as well, Brendan. <laughs> It's actually not that big. You know, once you're there and looking it at it, massive, but, uh, yeah, it's look, not the that water's big. down at the minute, though, yeah. isn't it? Oh, it's literally about a foot in it. Now. Yeah, it's crazy. We did, um, we did quite well between. We both managed to sneak into frame. Yeah, didn't yeah. Where were you? Twelve. I was twelve with fifty-one nice. seven. You were fifty with fifty pound eight. So that's crazy. That's a like small fish on a feeder. Over yeah, they are small. They're like skimmers this big, an odd pound one, but mainly like roach, look skimmers. It's lots of bites, and mm. everyone always says to me, it's like, what's the fishing like down at Tamar? And all, all he can say is, every time you chuck it out, you get a three you get bites. An indication or a bite. So Crazy. I, I don't think I chucked out once this weekend and never had a bite. No, you can't ask for more than that. No. I'll tell you what I loved about it, how much I learned. Like, someone commented on my Facebook and said, oh, shouldn't be fishing a feeder mm. five to 15 metres out. 
And actually, there's so much to that short feeder fishing. It's actually harder, shorter. Yes. Because they're harder to catch. Yes. Incredible. It's, yeah. When well, you know, when I first started doing that underarm, it yeah, got yeah. tangled every chuck in. Yeah, yeah. Didn't know where to hold my hands and flick it in there and all an that. Hey, oh, battery's low. Battery's low. We've got to get, there is an art to it. Oh, yeah. Blah. Yeah, we're, I love the learning side of it. How much do you want to get back in that final? Yeah. 100%. <sighs> After the first day, I, I was lying, I think it was ninth for this position, I had £30.7 yeah. and I, I felt like I had a chance, I thought... Did you have a chance? Not on the peg I drew, oh, right. but it thanks. sounds horrible, there were six pegs in the bag, I worked it out, but I'd drawn one of them, I think I could have won, Yeah, right. so that's how close I was, so if I'd have drawn one of them six pegs, I'd have had a chance of winning, so I, I love that, and I can't wait to get back in it, oh, I really, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to fish every single one I can, because um, I think it's one of the best events of the year. That. Yeah, I do. Massive, massive well done to Lee Carry on winning it for a second time. He's one of our best friends, and in my opinion, one of the best anglers on the planet. Not just at feeder fishing either, I think it, that lad can just do awesome. He can do everything. In fact, you can't. Uh, he's proved I've, it. I've worked, he said to me yesterday that it's, uh, that it's an incredible achievement. The last four feeder finals that he's been in, four feeder finals, he's won all four. Frightening. Two feeder feeder kings and two feeder masters frightening that's like the best record ever yeah that's phenomenal four phenomenal. last four feeder fans been in one of them like it's only something you can dream of look at this thank you very much cheers brenda we lost them whoa <laughs> <laughs> brenda we lost them um, oh. This has gone well. What do you think to Lee Carey's fashion sense tank? Horrendous. Yeah, the we most, need to get. He needs to learn from me, I think. The most uncool man on planet Earth, but he's incredible at fishing. Yes, he is. Well done on winning, though, mate. Well done on winning. Yeah, phenomenal. Well done to Dave Berry on second, by the way. Absolutely. Jamie Harrison on third. J Dave Berry's a legend of a man. He is right? a legend. He deserves that. Really well done, Dave. Yeah. Jamie, a brilliant performance, like 38 pound last day, won the match. Did he Be batter Steve Ring? next peg. Who? <laughs> Didn't Jamie batter Steve Ringer next peg on last day? Who's Steve Ringer? I've never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> you him not one day, two days, next and the peg. whole weekend, right? Friday, he hammered him. <laughs> £35 and Steve had 11 right? And the last day, Steve had 33 and 38 But, hey, the, the, just the, shows, hey, the class of angler on that feeder massive was a joke. Right? And then there were me and, and Frank. Yeah. And then there were me and him. <laughs> and we just propped it all up. <laughs> oh, I loved it. We've had a hectic, well, hectic yeah. few months, but great few months. Apologies for no regular vlogs, but yeah. I reckon I'm going to say it over the past next sort of two, three months, we'll bring regular ones. Yeah. Well, let's do that. Yeah. Well, we might be going to Bulgaria. So that might That'll be a good vlog, that. that That'll could be a, a wicked vlog. vlog. Could be a brilliant vlog. We'll do one. We're going to go to the World Club Feeder Champs in Bulgaria, potentially. So it's going to be exciting. Yeah. We're going to take Brenda with us. Brenda. Yeah. Fancy it, Brenda. Yeah, man. Brenda, I'm going to do, I'm going to do Matt's thing. Have you got any jokes? Um, oh, there's one in the edge. What music does Fish listen to? Go on. Something catching. I like that one, yeah. Slide on, brothers and sisters. See you later. Thanks for watching. Enjoy, yeah. So what am I having now? One of these or one of them? Well, you've had a fifty five of them, so I don't know. <laughs> 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 you said you said I only have two slices, he's eating the whole thing. <laughs> I'll do a main speech, yeah. Yeah, look, big one there. Look what he's look left, what he's left that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you're an animal, Matthew. <laughs> We're a bit shabby. Mm. You watch the second part of Money High? Yeah. What, the latest five things? Yeah, there's the, the, the part five, part one. There's the season five, part one. And it's part two coming in December. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'll put it on group. Good, innit? <laughs> So if you like what you've seen on the vlog and you want to see more of it, you've got to like this video and subscribe. Slide on. Just do it. Slide on. See ya.